Welcome to our guide on how to get good at support. Perhaps the most versatile of all roles, support mains are able to get value in almost every situation. Support players are spoiled with choice when it comes to weapon variety, having access to three distinct categories. The first of which is the light machine gun, which most players will find the most comfortable. The KE7 is an excellent weapon that players get access to early, and it can be treated much like a regular assault rifle. Players must be mindful, as this is a clear gateway weapon to the assault class. A much spicier option are the medium machine guns, which are able to absolutely shred through enemies under the right circumstances. Unfortunately, medium machine guns cannot aim down sights unless the player is in a prone position. So much like my ex-wife, you'll be spending a majority of your time lying down or mounting something. The best medium machine gun is the MG42, which is unfairly powerful and is undoubtedly one of the best guns in the game. Have fun mowing down people faster than retarded people, becoming offended over the word retarded. The last and most superior of all the weapons are the shotguns, which are arguably the hardest, but most certainly the most satisfying to use. In a close range fight, a shotgun user will simply win by default, but at longer ranges, they should prepare to be more out of place than someone over 9 who watches Jake Paul. Players who have the finest taste in weapons will gravitate towards the drilling double barrel shotgun, which will absolutely dumpster people up close, but also has an alternate fire, which allows players to kill snipers across the map. In terms of specializations, a support should use the machine gun a combat role if they're using any sort of machine gun, as it spots enemies you're shooting at, even if you have potato aim and can't hit the broadside of your own mother. Shotgun users on the other hand will probably prefer the engineer role simply because the other one is useless without a machine gun. The engineer role is especially helpful with construction as it allows players to build walls, bridges, and even weapons much faster than is previously possible. Every tank driver will love you after you repair their stupid mistakes. Every support class also has access to either ammo pouches or ammo boxes. The boxes are more useful, as along with weapon ammo, they also allow players to restock their gadgets. On the other hand, pouches are the most versatile, as they can be spammed harder than my inbox after signing up for free robux. In terms of other gadgets, support players get access to the anti-tank mine, which is difficult as fuck to use against an active tank, but simply placing a bunch down and waiting 10 minutes will usually score the player some delayed gratification. The anti-human mine, on the other hand, can be used to slightly injure enemies much more frequently. However, players are able to get more consistent kills by stocking up two with their ammo box and doubling the damage for an easy kill. The third gadget is a nade pistol, which will allow players to slightly scare tanks, but unless on low health, it is unlikely that this will secure a kill. Players who do want more options against tanks can also equip a sticky boy, which is like a less angry anti-tank grenade, as the other options are much more suited to dealing with humans. This concludes today's guide on how to get good at support. You will now be ready for every situation, become the master of every range, and be more likely to die from the overwhelming amount of salt from your enemies than their pathetic attempts to shut you down. Scrub scribe for more common sense, but until next time, have fun and embrace the bullshit.